guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jennifer Burrell and for those who do not know me um, first of all I want to say a very big thank you to the hundred likes on my first video ever and I think I have a thousand plus views oh my god you guys are so awesome I really appreciate the love thank you very much today I will be I'm here to talk about my process of getting into pharmacy school a lot of people have been asking me questions on how I got into pharmacy school, the process that I used, how I applied, what I did, did I work in a pharmacy, um, did I take certain classes, did I have to take the PCAT, so many questions have been flooding in my DM, especially on, on um, Instagram, on how I got into pharmacy school. Some of them I gave them answers, but for the past few, um, I mean for the past week, I've been telling people that I'll be putting a video up this weekend, which is today, on how I got into pharmacy school. So I know some of some of the people on my Instagram and my Facebook are looking forward to this video. Let me not bore you with this introduction. This video will be a very detailed tips on how to get into pharmacy school, on things that you need to know before applying to pharmacy school and the things you need to know if you're not sure whether you qualify to be a candidate for pharmacy school or not. So, you know, since I love you guys, I made a list <laughs> of the things I'll be talking about today. So, just stay tuned. Some time and did a lot of research this past week to get like the right, the accurate and the most current information on what you need to do to get into pharmacy school. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Well, I'm telling you this because I want you to know that it's doable. Like, it's very doable. No matter what your background is with science or chemistry, you can still get into pharmacy school and you can make it in pharmacy school. So I started off in high school in Ghana, West Africa with visual arts which is painting and drawing and all that stuff. I had zero background on science. I, 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 whew, science was not my thing. Math, oh, even worse. But I'm still here, so it's very doable. I did visual arts in high school for a year and a half in uh, a high school in Ghana. And after that, I came here to the United States and I went to high school here. I noticed that the, the pathway of studying in the high schools here was a little different. Like you pretty much take all the classes and at the end of it all, you decide on what you want to do in college. But back home in Ghana is different. You like go straight to what you want and you just stick with it from high school through college if you want to continue. I mean, you would have to continue, I'd say. I started off with visual arts. I came here, I did the class I was supposed to be doing to pass my SATs and my regions and stuff. So after that process was over, I applied to pharmacy schools. I was hoping to get to a straight six year pharmacy school, but I did not get into it. Uh, I got into a pharmacy school that was a six year program, but after you finish your prereqs, which is two years of prereqs in that pharmacy school, prerequisites are like uh, the classes you need to take before you get into the pharmacy school you want to get in. Some schools require different prerequisites, so it depends on the school you want to go to. So you have to do your research on the school you want to go to so you can focus on those prereqs. But the school I got into, they already had the pharmacy program, so I did that prereqs they um, wanted me to do to get into the program, and that was my main focus because I wanted to be in that school anyway. But so I did that whole process. I did the prereq. They had some classes: chemistry, science, math, and a whole bunch of classes that I had to take. I did take them, and when I was done in two years with those prerequisites, I decided to apply for their pharmacy program. So that was when I made a decision to add other schools to it. Initially, I wanted to stay in that school, 
but I made a decision to add other schools to it just in case I don't get into that school in particular at least I have other options to look up to or to you know to yeah to look up to so when I applied I had a few calls from these several other schools no I actually applied to four schools so I had calls from the school I was currently in and the other schools that I applied to to come for an interview and finally I got accepted into those schools I was very happy I did so you know it gives you like room to pick and choose which one you really want to go to so I made a decision to go to one of the schools which was an accelerated pathway which means instead of four years of pharmacy school, I, I'm doing three years. Yeah, it's not, it's a bit different, it's a bit tough. You don't really get time to do anything else, but it's completely doable. It's nothing that will draw your life over that will give you like this kind of anxiety. I mean, you have to be mentally ready for it. So, you know, it's something, it's a decision that you have to make. So I got into the three-year pharmacy school as well as other um, four years, three other four years um, pharmacy schools. So I had to make a decision on which one to go to. And, you know, finally I asked around. People told me, it's three years. Would you give that up? It's, I know it's stressful. There's that, is that. But just, you know, stick up. Just go and do it. You can do it. It's three years. Just go and finish hard and I made a decision to go to the accelerator program. Well, let me not bore you with too much about myself. I just wanted to know, I just wanted you to know how I went through the process. So if you are interested in going into pharmacy school, the first thing you need to do is look at the schools you want to apply to. Look at the requirements, especially if you're in college right now, look at the requirements needed for that pharmacy school and focus on those classes a lot of people ask me if they have to graduate before they apply to pharmacy school but i mean it's up to you unless you don't need that that degree you don't necessarily have to graduate before you apply to pharmacy school i mean as long as you have the classes that the school require you are good to go you can do three years of whatever college you in, take the classes that you, you, you need to take to get into the pharmacy school you're looking at and apply. So once you're looking at the required, required classes to get into that pharmacy school, you have to look at whether they, take, they need you to take the PCAT, whether they need you to, um, you know, the, the number of recommendation letters they need and other stuff. But all that information is on Farmcast. So it's not somewhere, I mean, it's not an information that you will have to go searching on different websites to find. It's all on Farmcast. Farmcast is, a, I'll leave the name on the screen or in my description, and I'll leave the link as well in my description. Farmcast is the website that you apply to all the pharmacy schools you want to get into. So. When you go on Farmcast, you go to the school directories and they have all the schools in the United States. Not Maybe not all the schools in the United States because some schools don't participate in Farmcast. So they might not have their application or their um, information on Farmcast. But for the most part, most of the schools in the United States are all on Farmcast. So if you want to get or, you know want to plan what you need to do what classes you need to take just go on farmcast look at the school directory they have most of the schools in the United States you click on whichever one you are interested in look at the classes they require and then you focus on those classes for two years of your college life and um, not all schools require PCAT as well some schools don't even look at the PCAT they might well yeah it says it there they might say you may have to you may need to take it or not take it and especially if you're a graduate student you don't have to take the PCAT for most schools and for those who don't know what PCAT is PCAT is like an examination that you take um, before you get into pharmacy school it's, it's like a 
preparation or they just want to test your knowledge type exam that you take before you apply to pharmacy schools and some schools require that PCAT exam but not every school requires that exam so you don't have to um, take it if you don't want to take it you just have to look at the school that don't require PCAT um, I also got a question about you know the deadline of pharmacy schools and they have two classes left and three classes left and um, they don't know if they had to finish those classes before they apply to the pharmacy school they desire to go to you don't need to finish taking all your prerequisites especially if you left with like one even two or three you are good to apply I'm not sure if you can apply if you have more than four classes or four classes yeah or more than three classes I, I don't think you will be able to get into any school but I, I mean if you're in the process of finishing those classes you can still apply and you will get a call you might get a call because when I before I applied I had three classes I was missing including organic chemistry too and statistics which was highly required of the school that I applied to but I still went on ahead and I applied and they called me for an interview and I even got accepted before I finished those classes. So this is like an information that most people don't know. They always like think about whether they need to finish the prereqs completely before they apply to the schools they want to go to. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to finish taking all your prerequisite classes before you apply to pharmacy school you can still apply before the deadline if you have a few classes left like two three classes left required of the school i can list a number of schools that you know do not does not require the pcat if you are a graduate so i mean i know some people that graduated and they're thinking about taking the pcat because it's required of pharmacy schools and stuff no it's not all pharmacy schools that want you to take the PCAT some schools don't even care about the PCAT especially if you're a graduate so I just wanted to clarify that and also um, if you're an undergrad and you have a specific major that you cannot deviate from taking you know assigned classes that I cannot really give you information on what you need to do but as long as you have the list of the um, classes required of the school that you are looking at, you can talk to your counselor about it and they might work a way around that aspect. Because I'm not an expert on that, so I cannot really give you information on how the schools work, especially if you have an assigned major, though you want to get into pharmacy school. So that you would have to talk to your counselor about that information. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad I was able to share my experience with you and yeah, even eventually I will be talking about my experience in pharmacy school and how I study and other stuff, but today my focus was on what I can do or what, what I can say to help you get ready or get prepared to apply for pharmacy school. So I hope this information was helpful and if you are tuning in today, you can just subscribe to my channel because I'll be putting more up here. It's not only on pharmacy school though, but I'll be putting a lot of information on pharmacy schools as well and other beauty stuff. So just subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this um, channel a thumbs up this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. I will leave my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Snapchat in the description box. So don't hesitate to text me at any time of the day on any of those social media sites and I will reply if I have to. If you have a question outside this video, I will be able to reply and whatever question you have you want me to expand on that I did not expand on in this video, I will be very happy to reply to that as well. So subscribe, thumbs up, comment, share, share with your friends that want to get into pharmacy school but are very nervous because they don't know what to do. 
share with them and I hope this helps you. Bye. Thanks for watching.